Hey. Well, it's late in Shreveport, hashtag Dreamport. And what are we doing? Uh, well, right now we're sitting in a parking lot. Right, well, yeah. But we're also about to drive to New Orleans because I am taking an acting workshop with Jim Gleason tomorrow called The Actors Foundation and we thought we'd vlog about it. <laughs> this is called Following the Dream. Cards on the table. Before we head to NOLA, I have to get my eyebrows waxed and my nose hairs waxed. That's too much truth. Is that too much truth? Yeah. Should I not have... Should I no not have... To know that. Nobody... This is how much fun I am on a road trip. How much fun? On the road again. I just, just can't wait to get on, on the road, road again. Come on, Jacob. I wanna see you out that door, baby. Bye, bye, bye. You gotta be hard, you gotta be tough, you gotta be stronger. Uh, the military is not releasing a lot of details because they haven't finished notifying next to Ken, but... I have, like, serious anxiety about leaving my cats. Like, I've been working all week and now I'm just, like, leaving. I feel like the worst cat mom ever. When heading to an acting workshop with an acting coach, always bring your headshot. Second pro tip, if you don't have your headshots and resumes prepared beforehand, you'll stop by CVS Pharmacy to get your pictures. Same day pickup. Same day pickup. You heard it here first. Holler. This message not yet endorsed by CVS. almost 2 a.m. and I have to get up in four hours. I'm in classes until like nine something, but I have my morning routine and it takes a while. And I can't skip it. Oh. And I'm very tired, even though Jacob drove the whole way. Thanks, yeah. Jacob. You got it, babe. Okay, good morning. It's a beautiful day in NOLA. Um, we're about to leave for the actor's workshop and I'm super nervous. I had a dream that we were supposed to prepare a monologue and I didn't do it, but it's not true. So anyway, um, yes, I'm feeling nervous, but I'm excited to do this. I'm tired, I only got like four hours of sleep. And uh, I hope the other kids like me. Or I should probably get to the point where I don't care if the other kids like me, right? Anyway, first day of school, wish me luck. He gave a lot, of, I'm like yelling now, because I'm, hi, I'm on camera, let me be loud. <laughs> now, where was all this energy in class? I was a total dud in class, and now I'm like, come alive. <laughs> um, God, okay, Um Jay, I see camera, Jay, I get excited. <laughs> what am I doing, stop. <laughs> One thing I am proud about is that because I've been consistent with going to Northwood acting studio classes as, as much as I could, is that when it was time at the end of the class for all of us to like, uh, tape an audition and then watch the tape in front of the entire class a lot of people were freaking out like oh my god I don't want to see myself on camera this is so humiliating like oh we have to be critiqued in front of the class and I was like <laughs> you know do this every Saturday not a big deal already know I'm gonna hate it but I'm not stressing out about it so um, at least I was like had a certain comfort level and also I was one of the older people in the thing and he's like, okay, so if you're 35 or under, read for Libby. And if you're 35 and older, read for Jim Jeffries. And he's like, oh, well, we don't have, we clearly don't have any women in here that are old enough to read for Jim Jeffries. So all the women will be Libby. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> I didn't correct him. I was like, I'm super fucking young. Oh, and one more thing. There was this girl in the class. 
There she is, very beautiful. Normally in the first few classes that I've taken, I'd be super intimidated and be like, oh, she's so young and she's a SAG actor and you know, comparing myself to her to reinforce the fact that I'm some kind of loser, I was just like, oh, that's so cool. This girl is so nice and she's gotten this far and, and I'm so excited to meet her and learn from her. This Hello. is Angel. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I can't wait to be friends. <laughs> <I know. laughs> it's just really exciting. I would say to encapsulate the day, um, no one in there knew that I was a doctor. It's cool to meet a new group of people and an acting coach that doesn't know I'm a doctor, so that's not part of my identity for them. And then I'm just here because I'm an actress who wants to work. And just that by itself is so invigorating for me. Like this was a super long day. I'm running on three and a half hours of sleep. I'm, I'm exhausted, but I'm so energized because I never thought I never thought two years ago, sitting in a call room, answering a ton of pages, working nights, seeing patients, that this would ever be my life. So I have to say, like, regardless of where the journey ends up, the pursuit of the dream is definitely the thing. It's the thing that gives you the energy because it's like your body and your mind and your soul are all one because you're pursuing what you want. And there's nothing more uplifting than that. That's life changing. Highly recommend. <laughs> okay, that's it. That's all I got. Bye!